Tracy here with BibleJourneyMinistries.com and today we're going to make an Advent garland for our Christmas tree or you can hang it up on your wall. It's totally awesome, whichever way you want to do it. But that's what we're going to be doing in this video. And I am just going to show you real quickly what that you're going to need. You're going to need a paper trimmer. You're going to need something to hang up the garland. So this is just some string here that I have. You're going to need paper clips. I like the bigger paper clips. You're going to need some scissors. You're going to need some double sided tape and our printable here. Now, when you print it out, it's entirely up to you, to you how you want to print it out. But for my advent calendar, I did print out the gift card envelopes on cardstock and I printed out the numbers on sticker paper and I cut those out with my silhouette machine but you can cut them out by hand or use a punch as well it's, it's to totally up to you now the printable comes with obviously these two pieces but it also comes with the original which is just the the prettiness of if you want to maybe put that in a frame and just kind of have it hung up you can do that as well but it also serves as a nice reference for these pieces which really go in your planner. So if you were to use these two pieces, you could decorate your planner um, and then have one of these squares for each of the days of the week. Let me just show you what that would look like. So here I have real quickly my illustrated faith planner here. And each of these I believe is an inch and a half. And I'm just trying to see if I have a ruler nearby and I could just measure that for you real quickly. Let's see, here's a little ruler. Yep, each of these is an inch and a half by an inch and a half. So that's what these squares are. Now, if you were to decorate your planner, it would come out looking like this. You would line up all the boxes like so. And then you have a little tab over here if you want to do that. You could decorate this with a tab up, up at the top and you have a really beautiful layout. And we have December, we could put December here or you could do this one like this and then have December written as well. Just paste that right there. <clears throat> so that's what your planner would look like. And then what you would do is you would then kind of number them based on when your calendar starts. So on Saturday, this one would be number one. So I would la label number one here on the back. And then number two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then what you could do after that is once you have them labeled, then every day of Advent, you could place your little, this would be number two. So that would be number two. You could just place your little boxes all the way up until you filled up the whole thing to make it look like the picture for unto us a child is born. And that's the idea of using an advent calendar in your planner. Now, um, what I would also consider doing is taking these verses here and then pasting them on the opposite side. So instead of putting a number one here, Right, what you could do, let me just trim this up for you. This is the other printable that comes with it, which is the 25 days of Christmas. And all of these verses are just perfect verses to use for Advent. And so I would read these verses during those days. So to cut this up, I would just take my little trimmer here. <clears throat> let me just show you real quick. And it's much easier if you do it like this, as opposed to cutting each of the boxes out on your own. But it's in, you know, it's up to you if that's what you want to do. Do that. Then you have all your numbers here. And then what you can do is for this box, you could just paste this here, and that would be the first day. So use some glue stick here. You could prepare your advent planner calendar 
by adhering each of these numbers, which are the days, right, of Advent. And then <clears throat> you would just put this all the way up to day 25. So that's how you would do the basically the countdown to Advent. We know Advent doesn't actually start until the second. So, you know, you don't have to use this number one if you don't want to. Um, if you're just going to just go t technically by Advent itself, then you would start with day two, which is this one over here. And we're going to use Micah 5.2 on that one. And then I would just glue that here on the back of this one. And then you would start truly your Advent this way <clears throat> on day two. Okay, so you could literally lay out all these boxes first and then cut and then come back and then day two would be this one. Okay, now the reason why these boxes on this grid are not numbered is because Advent changes. Sometimes Advent like this year starts on the second, but other years it starts in November. So I didn't want to number these because it would get Kind of messed up a little bit so depending on how you like to do advent i wanted to create this kit in a way that was really useful and can be used throughout the year so you didn't have to be buying all kinds of kits every year so the idea again is that if you are going to use it in your planner you can use these boxes like this and just cut them out and put the little numbers on the back of them with the verses and you have them and they're good to go okay so that's the planner idea now, for those of you guys who don't want to do the planner, there is another option for you. Of course, you can put it in a calendar as well. These are, as long as your calendar has a one and a half inch grid, this will totally work for you. Remember, if you are doing it in a calendar, you don't have to, you could just literally tape these like this. So every day you could have the verses like that. And then just grab some tape. Let me see if I have any tape nearby here. Uh, Let's see, I don't have any tape, but I do have washi tape. And you could just put a piece of washi tape on the calendar. And then every day, for either if you want to start on Advent, then start here on, on day two. If you're just doing the 25 days of Christmas and you're just counting down, then you can start on day one. And then, then you know, every day as you're, as you're going through it, you just, you know, look at it and you do, you read your verse. And then you put it down and you just fill out your grid. And eventually, if you fill out all of the grids, <laughs> um, you're going to have this picture. Okay? And so that's the idea of doing the 25-day countdown or Advent, however you want to, to do this. That's the idea of doing it in a planner or in a calendar. So let's go ahead and do this in, in garland form, okay? So if you wanna do it in garland form and put it around your tree, you're gonna do something and you're gonna have something that kinda of looks like this. You can just kinda of bring this in on the camera so you can see, okay? So let's just go ahead and make one of these. I've already started mine. It doesn't take very long to make, but I didn't wanna to have to, you you have to watch me make all of these little gift envelopes. So <laughs> I went ahead and made um, a few of them and I think I spent about half an hour on it. So the kit, as you know, comes with all the different pieces, right? But for the Advent Garland piece, the pieces that I'm gonna use are gonna be the numbers, I'm gonna use the gift card envelopes and I'm gonna use these verses because I think the verses are really fun. Since I already used the verse on this printable, I might just do this. And actually what would be really cool is if you kind of created a puzzle piece as well. So as you were doing the gift, the gift, um, you could use this as a puzzle piece. Just trim this up or leave it, it doesn't matter. But you could use this as a puzzle piece with your family. And as you get day one out and you read the verse, then you could place it there as well. And that would be fun, a fun activity for the family to do. So that's that's just the idea. The idea is I wanted just to create something that was very versatile for you that you could use with anything. So let's go ahead and make one of these, a few of these little garland things so you could see how it works. 
and then uh, we'll just see how it goes from there. So I printed some of mine out on sticker paper. You can see that it is printed here. I just used some um, some cheap, this is just a cheap shipping label. Um, it, is, it is acid free, um, but um, it's, you know, it's just, it's just a cheap shipping label. It's not, you know, anything special. So um, as I kind of start off with this project, the first thing you wanna do is you're gonna to have to print out 13 copies of the gift card envelope. And basically what you do is you just print them out, you can cut them, I recommend you cut them by hand, and then you fold them. Of course, you can use a scoring uh, knife if you want to make your score lines perfect. I don't make mine perfect, I never do. It's just not something I like to spend time on. It, it looks fine just the way it is without being perfect, <laughs> but it's up to you. If you wanna make it perfect, make it perfect. It's entirely up to you. Now these gift card envelopes, we do have another video on this one. Um, these gift card envelopes, if it's not posted, it will be coming soon. And the idea with this gift card envelope is that you can use it to give away gift cards this Christmas. A lot of people give away gift cards and it's nice to give a gift card, but it's much nicer to give a gift card with the purpose for Christmas, <laughs> which is Jesus. So it says, for unto us a child is born, Isaiah 9, 6. And for this, you'll just take a gift card, any gift card, you just put it in there. And then you can put it in the card if you want to, or you can just carry them around with you. And I think a great idea would be, and maybe for gifts around the office, um, maybe you're gonna go buy Starbucks and pick up a bunch of $5 gift cards for everyone to have coffee or whatever. Um, you know, I just think it makes a really cute gift. And of course, you can add some washi on here on the edge of a gift card and have something kind of poking out. Um, you could put a little a paper clip on, on it and it has like maybe a bow or something. You can do something like this to kind of dress it up a little bit and makes a really cute little gift. So definitely think about many different ways that you can use this kit. <laughs> So as we go ahead and finish out our garland calendar, I've got my garland here. And I think what we'll do is wrap ours around the Christmas tree. Now when we're doing garland, the garland, um, this is 25 days of 25 days, and we know Advent doesn't start until the second. So if you don't, if you were just gonna do an Advent only thing, then definitely you could start on the second and not on the first. If you're doing a Christmas countdown, then you can start on the first. I, again, that's entirely up to you. So let me just try to find the end of this thing. And don't, try not to get it too tangled because it'll, it's fine and it works out just fine, but if it gets too tangled, then you might get frustrated with it. <laughs> so once this is folded and secured, then you can add your labels on there. And I just add my labels real quickly. Labels one and two, okay? And then you can decide what do you wanna put on the inside. There are many different ideas for you to put things on the inside, but for what I have done with this printable is I've created a calendar for you. So the calendar, it's a 25 days of Christmas calendar, and you can start with day two again if you're not gonna do day day one, if you're just doing the Advent part. So here we are, um, we have day three, and then I have to find the little boxes, because I actually already have them already written. So the boxes here, what you can put in these little doodads, these little envelopes here, is I could put Jeremiah one here, in 30, verse 33, um, sorry, chapter, a book, first, Jeremiah, <laughs> chapter 33, verse 14, and I can put it in here, and then, you know, you don't have to stop there. You can actually also put a piece of candy in the little advent calendar. You can put stickers in there. You can put, I think a great idea would be to think of, like, different activities to do with your family, like, you know, walk around the block, and that would be the activity for the family for the day. Um, clean out the bathroom <laughs> would be the perfect family <laughs> activity. Um, wrap presents, make cards, make you know wreaths, trim the tree, go shopping. All of these things you can think of to put in there as activities for the family would be great. As Of course, you can put in any candies, like this is just a candy from the dollar store, or 
you know, just stick with the verse. That's fine as well. And if you want to add some complication to that, the verse with the calendar, you know, with the little puzzle pieces like we talked about would work fine as well. So I would love to know what it is that you guys are going to use your calendar for. So put it in the comments. Let me know what you're going to put in yours. Um, real quickly, the the easiest way to secure these is with a paper clip, uh, as long as you don't put anything really heavy. Now, I have candies in mine, in some of mine, and they work fine. The, the um, paper clip doesn't fall, so it works great. But when you are going to secure it, the easiest way to do it is just put your paper clip, just like you're putting a piece of paper clip, paper together like your paper clipping paper together and um, just push it down like that and then it just secures it so you don't have to try to thread it through at all it's a paper clip <laughs> and then what I like to do is I like to hide the paper clip so no one can see it so I'm going to put the paper clip on the inside and the front of it will be on the front of that gift card envelope right there at the top just like that okay and then we have day one so there's day one Put day two here. Maybe I'll put some candy in day two as well. And shove the candy in there. And then day one, I'm just gonna go ahead and put that in there. Just thread it through, not thread it through, but just push it down like paper. And then put that in like that, just like that. Easy, easy, easy. And you can see how easy it is to make an advent calendar and just have fun, like putting all kinds of things in here. I think what would be really fun so if you had a special friend that you wanted to maybe send stuff to this year. So here's all my, here's my whole wreath. It's not going to get on camera. <laughs> it's not all going to fit on camera, uh, unfortunately. I tried. I tried, but it's not all going to fit on camera. So it's all here. And what would be really fun is maybe you put little gifts in there for maybe a friend that you have maybe some happy mail to send to somebody and you just kind of put them all and fold them up like this. And then every day your friend can open up a gift from you for Advent. So something as simple, something cheap. Go to the dollar store and get some stickers, maybe a pack of planner stickers and just cut them out. I've seen Advent calendars go for, that have planner stickers go for, I mean, ugh, I think I saw one for $60, and it, and it just had stickers in it. It's, actually, it was like sticker sampler pack, <laughs> that's what it was. So every day, you got to open up an envelope, and in the envelope, there was like, it, the envelope obviously was probably about this big. It was like a little bag, and in, in you'd open up the bag and then you'd pull out like a sample sheet of planner stickers, which is cool, but it sucks two dollars. And I know you could probably do this with our printable um, for, you know, I don't know, six bucks, seven dollars, not a lot. So I hope that this encourages you to just kind of go out there and have some fun for Christmas this year and maybe create some sort of advent garland or advent calendar or use it in your planner however you want i just hope you have fun and get in the word because these verses are really awesome and i think they're going to be so much fun this christmas season all right guys i will talk to you soon have a wonderful day goodbye mm -hmm.